I'm just saying, hey, if you like me, relax and calm down. So this is what we got to learn. Dogs are the new offspring in One Child China, and they are increasingly popular among young professionals. A lot of people are seeing these dogs, uh, especially these uh, more uh, beautiful breeds, Huskies and Golden Retrievers and Labradors. Uh, and, and wanting them. Uh, and then, of course, you know, their friends and family telling them, uh, you know, how joyful it is to have a dog. Until recently, dogs in China were more likely to end up on a family's dinner table than playing in their living room. However, in recent years, the pet industry in China has blossomed and is predicted to double by 2017, becoming a $2 billion business. From upmarket canine spas to professional dog trainers, many dog owners are sparing no expense when it comes to pampering their pets. Still, traditionalists view dogs with suspicion. Dogs taller than seven inches are forbidden in Beijing's city center. Every year, as many as 75,000 people are bitten by dogs in the Chinese capital. Rabies is also still a strong concern. About 2,000 people infected with the disease die in China every year. This pet park manager says the biggest problem is the lack of basic training that both dogs and their owners receive. He says more training would go a long way towards improving the status of dogs in China. I believe definitely it's, it's on the forefront and it's going to be changing drastically in the next probably five or ten years. There is no indication that existing restrictions on urban dogs will be relaxed. However, the government is enacting a plan to vaccinate dogs and eradicate rabies by 2020. Nia Hawkins, Associated Press.